Alright guys, so we're at the Central Market here in Penn on Penn looking for a couple of hammocks. Because tomorrow we're gonna climb Cambodia's highest peak. Penom El Rao. Yeah. So 1800 meters. Looks like we already found a nice hammock here. Hey yeah, boss, got a pretty pink one for Joey over here. Uh, I told her to go find it. Mountain food. Making our final preparations. It's happening tomorrow. First highest mountain. But we need food. <laughs> that coffee for the morning. Of course. He has to get freaking coffee. So yeah guys, we have to be up at four in the morning tomorrow. Uh, so we're gonna be ready for the taxi. It's gonna take us to some little village at the base of the mountain and then I'm just gonna climb it and beer we gotta celebrate when we get to the top unfortunately this is where we have to leave our stuff for the next 48 hours don't worry though there's a camera right there. a bit sketchy there is a camera right there there it is so we'll be able to see who steals all of our valuables. <laughs> Thanks. You care to put on any pants, mate? This is what you wear to go hide in the jungle. And already. Let's go take this mountain over. This is gonna be fun. It's an easy like 20 kilos. Guys, this is my bag. Yeah. No, I offered to take a big bag and split the weight, but he was concerned I were taking too much stuff. So. Ounces are pounds, pounds are pain. What's up, guys? What's up? Out here on the empty streets, eating some cookies. Or oh, some biscuits. As all that English chap like to say. Some biscuits. And but, some. And some crisps. By the way, like 90% of the people here are English, and it's so fun to hang out with them. Yeah, they're really, they're great. Yeah. Life of the party. It really is. It's a little depressing tonight, actually. But it's probably a good thing since we gotta get up at four in the morning. Hostel's literally dead right now. And there goes a big rat or a cat. Either way, it's gonna be food tomorrow. Mm. Guys, we just walked 50 kilometers, wait, meters, to get to this <laughs> bank. And it's closed, unfortunately. And we need an ATM to get money out, and we're leaving in four hours. Let's you know it. what, though? It's all fine because we have these amazing cookies. Oat 25s. Guys, the security here is real tight. Behind us is one of Thailand's finest operators. Thailand? I mean, wait, we started. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. What country are we going in? Going in. All right. What's up, guys? So it's about uh, 4 a.m. right now at the hostel. Both dead tired. Uh, we're about to hop in a taxi. A two and a half hour ride out to the village, where we're gonna hire a uh, local guide that's gonna show us the way up, show us the way up the mountain. And um, it's about 20 bucks a day for the guide. So we're gonna see if we can actually hike the mountain in one day, or if he's gonna make us stay, um, make us stay overnight so he can cash in. Uh, so we'll see you on the way there. Westerners even think about making this climb. Yeah. 
it's not a difficult mountain to climb. We could probably do it today, which is what we're gonna try to do, talk to the guide. But yeah, like very few people know where this is at and there's very little information on how to get out here. So luckily, Polly hooked us up with a taxi driver that knows what he's doing and he's gotten us out here. So, all right, it's like 7.15 in the morning. We both have about two hours of sleep under our belt. <laughs> we haven't had breakfast and we're about to climb an 1800 meter mountain through the jungle. So we'll let you know how that goes. We'll update you when we get up there. All right, so we finally got to Shrikun 2. Uh, it's the second closest village to the mountain. It's where the road ends though. Um, it's where the village headman lives, so we contacted him and he got us a guide. He speaks a little bit of English, so we just talked to him on the phone. And he's gonna wait for us in Shrikun 3, which is the closest village, uh, like right at the base of the mountain. So I guess we gotta get on some motorbikes now. And we're gonna head to Shrikun 3, meet Chim, he's our guide. And hopefully we can climb this mountain today and get back, not spend the night in the malaria fields. So, let's do that. Alright guys, we finally made it out here. Made it to Chim's house. Met Mr. Chim, our guide and uh, a few minutes we're gonna start the hike. I think it's 10 kilometers to the base of the mountain. Yep. And then, and then he's not gonna let us hike the whole mountain today. So we're going up to high camp, which is about three hours or so up the mountain, a little over halfway. And then we're gonna camp, hang out, and then tomorrow we're gonna summit the mountain and then come all the way back down and try to get back to Pen on Pen. So. That's gonna be adventure getting back. Yeah. Because we have no idea. <laughs> that no ride way. was awesome. Oh yeah, some good footage too. Yeah. Hope you guys liked it. Guys, all we have to survive on for the next two days probably is crackers and some cookies. We're on the road now. We got a 10 click hike to the base of the mountain from the village. It's about six miles. And then we're gonna go about halfway up the mountain. So, just strolling through the village today. Guys, we are deep in the bush, as you would say. Almost. It's awesome here though. Yeah, this is quite the adventure. <laughs> about maybe two miles. <laughs> maybe, the mountain looks the same size. Maybe a kilometer? <laughs> maybe seven? We don't know. The mountain is not getting any closer. But keep trekking on. Our poor guy just took a giant spider web right to the face. Suck. <laughs> for a little break guys so far I mean the mountains kicked our ass but we're not even at the mountain <laughs> we've been journeying since four o'clock in the morning to get to this mountain we still haven't even got to the mountain I challenge anyone coming to Cambodia to climb this mountain it's definitely a journey an adventure and it's definitely off the beaten path you're not gonna find a lot of backpackers or tourists or or like zero or any. That's how many there are out here. Yeah. Other than us. So Fearless Trek is all about we're like getting out of the city and doing this type of stuff. And our guy just left us, so. Yeah. All right, guys. 
Looks like we're just now getting to the base of the mountain. about this I'm sick I got about two hours of sleep we didn't eat breakfast I didn't have coffee this morning which is probably the worst of all of those so I'd say we're doing this right it's a good start you good we're also short on water I don't know how far we are where we are where we're going really what we're doing at this point but you good old chap oh of course all right we keep walking Cheerio. <sighs> guys it's pretty brutal we're about 10 miles in right now <clears throat> it's about 95 degrees Fahrenheit 100% humidity and all that other stuff I said earlier about being sick. So, this is a good day. All kinds of wicked, fun. wicked looking jungle bugs. It's definitely the path less traveled. That's for sure. And if you look at our shirts, that's what they say. You can't see because Joey's bag is in the way. I have no energy to move it. <laughs> oh, yes. I feel sorry for the people <clears throat> back at our hostel when we get back because <laughs> I can already smell myself. It's bad. It's, it's the opposite of good. <laughs> so we made it to camp one. How's the rice with chopsticks? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we got rice and some sketchy looking piece of meat which I don't think either of us want to risk but I'm probably going to eat it anyways. tripping. It's now 4 p.m. and we're still walking and we still don't know if we're going all the way to the top tonight or not but I guess we're about to find out because we're getting close and very low on water. Oh and we're following uh, tiger footprints. Oh yeah there's a big uh, jungle cat footprints a few clicks back so this is, this is going to be exciting. I mean, it already is pretty exciting, but it might get more exciting if a jungle cat pops out. Anything to say, mate? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm wrecked. This is a good day. <clears throat> That's it? Yeah. That's all I can say right now. <laughs> Am I supposed to talk? You just look dead. I'm so dead. But I'm not defeated. I'm just dead. <clears throat> uh, also, I think there's a tiger hunting us. At this point, like... This is a lot of fun. I just want you guys to know that. At this point, I'd rather a tiger just... take me away. What you said. Uh, I was just putting one leg in front of the other. <laughs> but we made it. Finally made it at 1700. Mike legitimately dead. 5 o'clock p.m. That was a good day of walking. Tomorrow we reach the peak. And then 
try to go back down. <laughs> We're on water rations now too, unfortunately. We're getting really low. You may have to drink river water. All right, Joey might have to drink river water. I'll drink it. Okay. I mean, if you need water, you need water. All right, I'll bring Joey to the hospital tomorrow. Yeah, and you'll go too for extreme dehydration. <laughs> yeah, probably. Win-win. I haven't stopped sweating since, like what, seven Four in the morning. morning. Four in the morning, we were in a taxi. Yeah, I was sweating in the taxi. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. Oh. Wait, they're sleeping in there? I uh, maybe? I mean, we got hammocks for these. Well. It's our guide. Taking stuff out of there. Ah, uh, I think he's getting ready to cook stuff. Sleeping mats are set. Or not mats. I wish we had mats. <laughs> Sleeping bags are set up, and we're going to bed. Sun's still up, and we're going to bed. We're done. Catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's 5 a.m. in the jungle, and we're about to try our breakfast. <laughs> Some beyond off brand Ritz <laughs> crackers. <laughs> and then keep hiking to yes. the top. Mm. Alright, so. 540, getting our ascent to the peak, and should be there in about an hour or so. I'm going it shirtless. <laughs> My shirt is soaked in sweat from yesterday, so just wasn't feeling it. So on the downside, this mountain never ends. Every time we turn a corner, there's another slope. On the plus side, it's like 60 degrees up here and there's no bugs. So, little victories. And also on the downside, <laughs> our guide has died. We're on our final ascent though, I'm pretty sure. We got about 40 minutes left to get to the top. So, you ready buddy? Yeah. First off, look at the size of this snail. Also, Joey's dead, but we made it to the top. Let's go. Cheers, brother. Well, we made it to the top at least. We got about well under half a liter of water between the two of us. And an easy. Pick us up at the bottom this time instead of us having to walk the last six miles back to the village because they got to take us all the way to Tricon 1, which is like three villages away. To get to the taxi but hey first mountain down like something like 180 left to go it's All right good, guys, so good day probably not gonna film a lot on the way down the phone's almost dead and we just we really got to get back anyways so see you at the bottom <laughs> Guys, water never tasted this good before. We're on our second bottle. We ran out about a thousand feet up and it got pretty bad, so we drank river water on the way down. <laughs> we were rationing it the whole way down too. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get two more and then we're gonna bounce. All right, see you guys at the taxi.
climbing Pinot Morale. Me and Joey are totally wrecked. We could barely walk. It was a great time. I'm like sick as you could be with the cold. So it's fun. But uh, we were supposed to go to Bottom Bank tomorrow. But our good British friends, you might have read about in our daily journals, we had a good time here within uh, Pinot Pin. They went down to the island of Koh Rong in South Cambodia sent us some awesome pictures and we're like hey if you guys come here for the weekend we'll stay too and it'll be fun and after climbing that mountain it sounded like a really good idea so we're taking a night bus night to Koh Rong for like probably four days I don't know we'll play it by ear when we get there and uh, basically the next part of this video you get to see what paradise looks like so hopefully yeah, you know, they say like the sea is the best medicine or whatever. I kind of need it right now. So, I think that's all. You got anything else to add, Joe? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> be like onions. Like, they'd be like oh, cake. Cake has layers. <laughs> or like, oh, you know what they could be like? Parfait. Everybody loves parfait. You mess with someone, they'd be like, hey, you want some parfait? They'd be like, no, I don't want no parfait. <laughs>